Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. John Chrysostom, one of the great doctors of the Eastern Church. As we begin this Mass, let us beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, who will that the Bishop St. John Chrysostom should be illustrious by his wonderful eloquence and his experience of suffering. Grant us, we pray, that instructed by his teachings, we may be strengthened through the example of his invincible patience. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. Now the body is not a single part, but many. 
Now you are Christ's body and individually parts of it. Some people God has designated in the church to be first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then mighty deeds, then gifts of healing, assistance, administration, and varieties of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Do all work mighty deeds? Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak in tongues? Do all interpret? Strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that the Lord is God. He made us his we are. His people, the flock he tends. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. For he is good, the Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Please stand. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus journeyed to a city called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd accompanied him. As he drew near to the gate of the city, a man who had died was being carried out the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. A large crowd from that city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he was moved with pity for her and said to her, Do not weep. He stepped forward and touched the coffin. At this, the bearers halted, and he said, Young man, I tell you, arise. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Fear seized them all, and they glorified God, exclaiming, A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. This report about him spread through the whole of Judea and in all the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the Word of God comforts the afflicted. 
And this is proven to us by our gospel today. Jesus encounters a widow whose only son died. Imagine the situation of this woman. She no longer had any husband. Now she lost her only son. And in the midst of her grief, Jesus told him, Do not weep. And then Jesus brought back to life her son. How comforting the words and the works of Jesus. And many times in our life, we have also been comforted by the word of God. When we are afflicted, when we are in trouble, when we are hopeless, when we are sad, when we are alone, when we are depressed, we find consolation and comfort in the Word of God. Madalas nating nararanasan yan. Nararanasan natin na tunay na buhay ang salita ng Diyos. At sa gitna ng kadiliman sa ating buhay, ang salita ng Diyos ang nagbibigay liwanag. Kapag nawawalan tayo ng pag-asa, ang salita ng Diyos ang nagbibigay sa atin ng pag-asa. The Word of God gives comfort to those who are afflicted. But the Word of God does not only comfort those who are afflicted. The Word of God also afflicts those who are comforted. And this is witnessed to by St. John Chrysostom, whose memorial we celebrate today. John Chrysostom lived in the 4th century. He was born in Antioch in Syria. He was a lawyer, but when he was baptized Christian, he abandoned the practice of law and became a priest. Later on, he became the Bishop of Constantinople. And he was known to be a very good preacher. That is why he was given the title Chrysostom, which means golden-mouthed. His preachings were so powerful that they moved people. But he particularly preached to people in authority and power. The contents of his preachings often stung the rich, those in authority, those in positions of power. That is why he was met with royal opposition. He was exiled twice because of his preaching against those in authority. In John Chrysostom, we see how the Word of God could also afflict those who are comforted. How the Word of God could disturb those whose lives are comfortable. My dear brothers and sisters, the Word of God comforts the afflicted. The Word of God afflicts the comforted. St. Paul in our first reading today reminds us that we are all given gifts by God. And one of the gifts given to us by God is the gift to proclaim His Word. And so let us not hesitate to proclaim the Word of God to those who are afflicted, 
to those who are sorrowful, to those who are weeping, to those who are hopeless, to those who are sad, to those who do not find meaning in their lives, because we know the Word of God will give them joy, will give them hope, will give them comfort, will give them strength. But let us also be courageous in preaching the Word of God to those whose lives are very comfortable, to those who are rich, to those in positions of power, to those who are influential in society. They too need the Word of God so that the Word of God may afflict them in their comfort, may disturb them in their convenience, and may call them to conversion. Please stand. To show His divine compassion and authority, Jesus performed miracles. Filled with awe at these wonders, let us pray to the Father who sent us such a Savior. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That God's love and care may be shown to our people through the guidance and help of our church pastors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the state may become a channel of God's compassionate love by the special attention and assistance they extend to the poor and sick people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have recently suffered the loss of a loved one may, with God's help, recover their faith in life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that like the widow's son, sick people may experience the healing hand of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may be raised to the fullness of life in God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for our own intentions. We remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, give us in our gestures to touch the brokenhearted and help them experience your Son who has come among us. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present in commemoration of St. John Chrysostom be pleasing to you, O Lord, for taught by Him, we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. John Chrysostom, you bid your church rejoice. So to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John Chrysostom, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please. 
please stand. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that these mysteries we have received as we commemorate St. John Chrysostom may confirm us in your love and enable us to be faithful in confessing your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.